Good morning, my friends. It's Saturday, November 9th, and I'm here with you at the Rising of the Sun. I found this incredible painting from Japan. It was made in 1970 by Sadao Watanabe, and it is The Calling of Peter and Paul. As you can see, Jesus is sort of encapsulating Peter and Paul into this bubble filled with fish. There are fish on the outside too, but it's as if from the moment of his call, there was this alternate universe that he invited them into, a new way of seeing, a new understanding. It's lighter than the rest of the painting, this bubble. It takes over almost the whole painting, or I guess it's a a serigraph. Come with me. I'll make you fish for people. I will show you things that no one else has ever understood or contemplated before. Come. Today in the 14th tap chapter of Luke's gospel, Jesus goes to the home of a Pharisee. And there's a man there who has dropsy. Dropsy is a, a, a edema, a swelling, a swelling because of excess fluid in the body. And so this man is probably feet and legs are really swollen. And, um, and Jesus looks at the Pharisees and says, is it lawful to heal this man on the Sabbath? And they are silent. You know why? It's because it's their friend or family member. Of course, they've changed their minds. That's how you change people's minds. Let them experience someone they love and pain. And so Jesus heals him right in front of them and they don't do a thing. And then he says, wouldn't you, if a child or beloved pet fell down a well, wouldn't you get them out on the Sabbath? And again, they just sit there. No response. <laughs> Won't you break the law for the people you love? Is basically the question. Of course, of course, love is greater than law. And then Jesus goes on because he's watching these Pharisees come in and they're seating and they're sitting in places of honor. They're trying to get the best chair. It's like musical chairs. Jesus says to them, when you enter a house, don't sit near the places of privilege. Sit at the back. Let the host invite you up. Those who are last will be first, and those who are first will be last. Jesus was trying to break a worldview, a rigid worldview that these Pharisees had. He was trying to open their minds. And as followers of Jesus, we also need to be about shaking people up, waking them up, getting them to see to see the beauty of the earth and the great sins of humanity through the centuries and even today against one another or against our earth. But we can't do this unless we really interact with people who think differently from us. Jesus went to the home of a Pharisee for dinner and it was there where he started to really change their minds by loving them, but also by making them think. Our job in this new day in this country is to get out there and be with the people who think very differently from ourselves and talk to them as hard and frustrating as that might be. And I'm sure it was for Jesus. We cannot just hang out with each other. The disciples were constantly being sent out into the hostile world to bring the good news. And so must we. So let's look to this new day as a day of strengthening our faith and moving out into the dark places, into the places where people do not think like us, to show them love and to turn their worlds upside down. Let us pray. Oh, hello, Pistachio. You can play hello. too. Yes, hello. There she is.
Almighty God, we thank you for this day. We thank you for the gift of our lives, for the challenge that is the gospel in this world. I will pause and let you give thanks for anything you're grateful for today. Lord, we ask you to bless the sick and the suffering, those who mourn, those who struggle. I will pause and let you speak aloud the names of anyone in your life who needs prayer. Lord, give us courage and strength. Help us to understand in the depth of our being that your work only grows stronger in adversity. Help us without fear to go into places where people think very differently from us, to engage them in loving conversation, to turn hearts to you. All this we ask in the name of Jesus, your son, who loved us, and walked this earth with us as our savior to bring us a new dawn. Amen. God bless you. Have a great day.